Welcome to We Are One. Today, I'm pleased to receive Jill Marie Pasquinelli with us. Welcome, Jill, and welcome everyone at home. Wonderful. Okay, are we? We're here. We are holding our thumbs. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> yes. Well, that's how I was going to start today, and was by holding our thumbs. And I think I'm frozen now. <laughs> Right. <laughs> no, it's working. We can see okay. you well. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Because on my camera, I'm frozen, but that's all right. Oh. <laughs> all right. So there are two things that I'd like to talk about today. One is stress, and the other is the immune system. So today, um, so we're living in unprecedented times. There's global stress. We have the pandemic, we have politics, we have the environment, we have the economy. There's so much that we're dealing with. And then there's the internal stress, um, you know, uh, and there's a lot of loss. There's a lot of loss uh, of lives, of jobs, in many ways, a, a loss of what was familiar. And so we're dealing with a lot. And I want to begin today by holding our thumb. And I especially want you to get the pad of the thumb here, the 18 in Jin Shin Jitsu. This is safety energy lock 18. And it's Mary called it our psychiatrist. It helps us with our mind, with our thinking, with our thoughts. So the thumb is also first depth and first depth the organ functions that go with first depth are the stomach and the spleen and the attitude of the thumb is worry so worry is not being in the present and dealing with stress when we're not in the present is is really difficult you know because we have this breath right now. So I'd like to just see if you can drop your shoulders. Just relax as you're holding your thumb. So we're really in a place and a time of change. And I see this as a paradigm change. It's big. We're not going back, but we're going forward. And this is kind of that tricky place, that hard place that we don't exactly know what that looks like yet. So we're in what I call groundless territory. And the thumb, first step, the element is earth. So the thumb helps us to be grounded, to be grounded in ourselves, grounded in our breath. But this groundless territory is also a place for dreams and hope. The spleen is very helpful for the nervous system. So I thought this self-help today would help our nervous system, help our breath, help us to be in the now. As we navigate the unknown,
We don't have to force the breath. We can just allow the breath. And this is one reliable way to be in the present, is to be in this breath. And now the next breath. And so on. So part of navigating this unknown terrain is by being here now, as Ram Das said. Let's be present. So holding the thumb helps to bring calmness to the body, to the mind, and to the breath. very helpful for anxiety and dealing with the unknown. Let's move to our little finger, same hand. Doesn't matter if you're on your right hand or your left hand. You start with the hand that you need. And the late little finger is fifth depth. And the organ functions that go with the little finger are the heart and the small intestine. So we can open our hearts. The attitude of fifth depth is pretense, as Mary said, or the try to, all the striving, all of the effort, all of the trying. So interestingly enough, fifth depth has something in common with first depth, which is that it's, it's not being in the now with all of that effort and the striving. We're not being present. We're not being truly who we are, our authentic self, in other words. Fifth depth is effortless reality. being who I am, where I am, being true. So perhaps we can find a place in the breath where we can rest. When we let go of all the, the striving and the effort We can just be
And there's another relationship our little finger has on a different level with the spleen. So again, we have the spleen coming in to help the nervous system. Moving to the opposite thumb and 18. Just trusting that the ground is there for you. You can let go. Moving to the same side, little finger. So the thumb and little finger, there's a relationship with the mediator flow. The mediator flows through both the thumb and the little finger. And the mediator is about movement. And Mary said about the mediator, this is where all of our disharmonies begin. We get stuck in our attitudes. Our attitudes get stuck in our body. And so this is about movement. Always being in movement. in the flow and even when the flow is difficult. Our heart is constantly moving. Our lungs are moving, we have our breath. We have these incredible gifts that are always there for us. And we have Jin Shin Jitsu. And Jin Shin Jitsu for good times and for hard times, right? It has been my friend through so many things in life.
There's a lot to hold with so much going on right now in the world and how it affects each of us individually. Sometimes it seems like too much, you know, but uh, if we stay in this moment, if we can come back to our breath, it's not too much. So the other thing that I was thinking about today, oh, actually, before I go on, I want to say that this is the self-help that I give to my clients who have difficulty going to sleep. It's wonderful. It's the first self-help that I offer because most of the time it's really effective. Um, and not always, because there are many causes for sleep difficulties. And, uh, but, but this one, calming the nervous system, helping us to be free of worry and effort, um, it's calming. So after a busy or stressful day, you get into bed, I get into bed, and I start this with my thumb. And it helps to calm the body and the mind down. So you just drift into sleep. Five minutes on each finger. So five minutes thumb, five minutes little finger, same hand. Five minutes opposite thumb, five minutes opposite little finger. It's great. It doesn't mean you're going to fall asleep every time you do it. <laughs> It just means that it's very calming, very relaxing. Yeah, it just brings the temperature down. Yeah. We need that so badly these days. <laughs> we really do. <laughs> so before I go, the second thing, I, I just couldn't let go of this. Um, because uh, certainly in my area, this is happening and I, I'm all over the world, it's happening and it has to do with the vaccine. And most people I know are desperately trying to get the vaccine. Some have gotten it, many have not. And some people don't want it. But either way, I just want to give a quickie for the immune system that I find incredibly dynamic, incredibly helpful. I had a client come after her first vaccination and she wasn't feeling well. She was shaky and she felt like she had a fever and she was just kind of climbing out of her skin. And so I gave her this flow, this quickie. I began with it and that was it. That was just it. She was fine. She felt great. She texted me that night. She said, I can't believe it. I feel fantastic. I'm having a Negroni. <laughs> I thought, wow, you are feeling good. <laughs> so um, anyway, uh, this is a wonderful self-help that I give for people who are going through chemotherapy or uh, any need for the immune system, really. So it's simply putting your right hand on your right 12, your right neck below the earlobe. And your left hand goes, because I can't see myself on the screen, you follow the bottom rib around, the 12th rib around to the back. So it's a little bit above the kidneys. This is our safety energy lock 23. And 23 is, Mary used to call 23 the policeman of the body. It's a big immune helper. And so just this position is very good for after vaccinations of any kind, whether you're traveling and you're getting vaccinations, for children who are getting vaccinations, and the, this COVID vaccination. Um, so, and for people who aren't, don't want the vaccination, this is also protective for the immune system. 
It helps to get toxicity out of the body. It also, I think, helps the vaccination to be more effective and then you get rid of the rest. That's how Mary described it. So this is your friend anywhere, anytime. I recommend that you hold this for at least uh, five minutes, longer, as long as you want. And um, I know that there are many of my colleagues have given webinars on the immune system. You can go on the website and view those webinars that really go into depth. I just wanted to give this quickie specifically for the issue of the vaccination right now. How wonderful. Okay. So both hands are on the right side. No, uh, the uh, my right hand is on the right neck. My left hand is on the left 23. I see. And when we hold the back, it can be with the palm side or the yes. back of the right hand, right? Either, either. Mm -hmm. However, it is effortless for you. Oh, Mary, wonder. Yes. Mary used to say, you never need to be uncomfortable. There is always a way. Fantastic. So, yes. So we have two questions here. Grace mm -hmm. is asking if that is the regular 12 or the lateral 12. It's the regular 12. Mm -hmm. But you know how I have my hand, I'm really covering the 12. <laughs> all, all the areas. All, all of the areas, yeah. Mm -hmm. And can we do this both sides? You know, um, I've all, I only saw Mary teach this side. I think it's because of the left 23, the left kidney, really being uh, both are, you know, both sides are profound for the immune system, but especially the left. And this is the side that I've used. I haven't, you know, but now know myself. You're your own testimony. Try it. Yeah. Try it out and see. see but how, I use. How, yeah. how you feel. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. That's a true gift you're sharing with us today. <laughs> Thank we you. can let go of the fear because sometimes the mediator mm -hmm. gets out of his way just because we are afraid and then we go there and and we take the shot and the muscles get tense yes go. how wonderful yes and there, there is so much fear and anxiety around the vaccination and you know, does it work and the new variants and will it work with that? And I mean, people are really spinning out about it. So hopefully we don't need to spin out. We can just <laughs> hold our 12 and opposite 23. And that's um, Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Ollie, thank you. You are just the best. I love oh, working yeah. with you. <laughs> so do I. And uh, I think our community is so pleased with this. Such a dynamic quickie and yeah. so important for these times. Oh, yes. And may you all be well and may all good things come to you in your in the new dream we're all in. <laughs> yes. Until we meet again, we are one. <laughs> we are fun, yes. And for information about the classes, you taught recently a, a class about sleep, right? I did. Um, last mm -hmm. weekend, mm -hmm. I think it was last, yes, last weekend yes. I taught a webinar on, on sleep. Yes, yeah. and yes. everything is available for you to, yes. to, to find at mm -hmm. JSK Inc. website, which is... Yes. Uh, JSKInc.net. You go there. I'm going to add here in the Thank chat you. later on Facebook uh, and on uh, YouTube. It's going to be in the comments. You can go there and yes. check out Jill's previous webinars, as well as many opportunities that Jin Shin Jitsu is offering now. It's just yes. uh, a blessing to be able to be online with our community from all over the world, offering these resources, yes. this support for them. Yes. 
It is a blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Be well. Thank you. Thank you and practice you. your own yes. testimony. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we'll be back uh, live on Monday and on Friday at 1 p.m. You have Terry Matthews with Harmonize to Energize. So see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>